Hello, and thank you for watching my presentation today. My name is Kevin Hefner, and I'm a senior process simulation and software development engineer with SysCAD. My presentation today is on the use of SysCAD with the TCE add-on to model a two-stage ferric lime treatment process for mining wastewaters. TCE stands for Thermodynamic Calculation Engines. Current and future mines are faced with increasingly complex ores, which increases processing costs. Contaminants of potential concern, elements identified as potentially harmful to the environment in sufficient quantity, must be within regulatory limits for effluent discharge. In addition, tailings must be geochemically stable for long-term storage in the tailings facility. Because of these very challenging requirements for the development, planning, operation and closure of a mine site, it is critical to understand the underlying chemistry of the water treatment process. In this presentation, we present a first principles thermodynamic model for the simulation of a conventional two-stage water treatment process using SISCAD. Water treatment requirements can significantly affect project feasibility. As contaminant loading in an ore increases, the generation of water treatment sludge is also increased. The sludge generated from water treatment is typically higher in iron, magnesium, and calcium, forming precipitates, which may be challenging to settle and consolidate. For this reason, water treatment is particularly important to get right, since it may have a compounding effect on life of mine considerations for project feasibility. SysCAD with TCE can provide important information to better understand the life cycle feasibility of a mine. A water treatment process design is affected by ore composition, reagents used, upstream processing routes, regulatory requirements, and other factors. Mathematically describing water treatment requires models for multiphase equilibrium, speciation, multi-component solubility, and heterogeneous absorption to solid precipitates. Simulation of a typical water treatment process for a real mining water, water solution can involve hundreds or thousands of reactions. SysCAD with the TCE add-on simplifies the application of best available data for this challenging problem. Optimizing the water balance to minimize water use is not only a public expectation, but is also important for managing water treatment plant loading. However, water reuse can introduce significant operational challenges, such as mineral scaling and corrosion. SysCAD with TCE can predict mineral scaling propensity and regions of aggressive chemistries where corrosion is likely. Using SysCAD with the TCE add-on, all relevant reactions and their extensive reaction are incorporated into simulation of a reaction vessel through the selection of a database. This approach leverages libraries of thermodynamic data represents, representing decades of research. An automated mapping approach is employed where each SysCAD component is matched to an equivalent TCE component, allowing seamless use of these highly complex calculations as needed with simplified calculations used elsewhere. Thermodynamic modeling alone does not consider process kinetics. This is an important limitation that affects how model results should be interpreted and used for process design. Some examples of appropriate use of thermodynamic modeling is understanding process sensitivity on operating parameters, providing a reference state for mass transfer and reaction kinetics calculations, to understand deviation of a process from equilibrium and identification of potential areas of concern where more test work is required. SysCAD with the TCE add-on allows modeling of kinetic effects through phase supersaturation and constrained free energy algorithms. A key advantage of using SysCAD with the TCE add-on compared to using thermodynamic models for standalone calculations is that the effects of process recycle streams can be incorporated. SysCAD can easily incorporate any number of nested recycle loops. 
The SysCAD TCE add-on currently supports integration of AQSol, OLI, FreakC, and ChemApp. A TCE model configuration unit model, seen on the right side of this slide, exists on a SysCAD flow sheet and manages the link to the software. Individual unit operations using TCE calculations link with the TCE model configuration. Computational efficiency in large process simulation models is achieved through parallel computing and using TCE calculations only where needed. This slide provides an overview of software capabilities, features, and services provided by SysCAD. As mentioned, parallel computing and using TCE calculations only where needed allows for computational efficiency in large plant models. Auto generation of SysCAD configurations based on TCE database component lists is also possible. Furthermore, the SysCAD product ships with a diverse library of example projects and copy paste functionality is supported. All this results in rapid development of sophisticated thermodynamic models. Furthermore, SysCAD documentation is best in class and freely available via our public wiki at help.syscad.net. The SysCAD team is comprised of industry experts from a diverse range of backgrounds with a common passion for process simulation. Process simulation services and customized training in person or online is also available. The Freaksy water treatment model used in this analysis includes 656 species and nearly 30 elements. It is based upon the Mintech version 4 database developed by the US EPA. FreakC is developed and maintained by the USGS. This package was selected because it contains commonly used water treatment tailings environmental type data. The model uses the Watec activity coefficient model, which is suitable for this application. Ferrohydrate and alumina surface complexation is also considered. This model is very comprehensive and allows for simulation of typical mine water treatment processes. Full data references are provided in the paper published on this work, which appeared in the Met Plant 2023 conference proceedings. The SysCAD model of a two-stage ferric lime water treatment process is shown here. The process includes low pH, high pH, and tailings processing circuits. The low pH stage removes iron, aluminum, molybdenum, arsenic, and other metals via lime addition to induce co-precipitation and adsorption to ferrohydrate and alumina. In the high pH stage, lime is added to remove magnesium, copper, cobalt, nickel, and other metals as oxyhydroxides. Ferric sulfate is also added to form ferrohydrate for additional adsorption of various metals in the high pH circuit. The combined solid streams from these two circuits are treated in a tailings process to form a geochemically stable product for long-term storage. Overflow from the tailings thickener is recycled to the first stage. This is a complex chemical process with a significant recycle load. Baseline conditions for the water treatment process is shown in these tables. Both tables represent typical values and are not specific to any mine site. The raffinate is predominantly a mixture of ferric, ferrous, and aluminum sulfate with a number of impurities. The concentration of molybdenum in the raffinate was not provided, and thus a typical concentration of 5 mg per litre was assumed. Raffinate data from Ryan and Alfredson and full data references are available in the METPLANT 2023 paper. A number of sensitivity analysis runs were conducted to determine the effect of various process subsets on the effluent quality. The process, can change, process changes considered were clarifier performance issues, pH upsets, ORP changes, and changes to the feed chemistry. Things like this can occur, clarifier performance issues can occur from things like water treatment, plant feed flow rate variability and settling issues. pH upsets can occur from probe scaling, live loop plugging, probe malfunctions. 
ORP changes can happen when air spargers plug up. And changes to feed chemistry can occur from balance of plant process upsets, feed ore changes, weather events, other factors. A sensitivity analysis such as this, a sensitivity analysis such as this predicts the robustness of the process and identifies key operating parameters for process reliability. This slide shows the predicted effect of clarifier performance on final effluent quality. Loss of control is simulated by increasing the total suspended solids to 500 ppm from baseline values in every case. Elevated TSS in the low pH clarifier overflow, the second column, is predicted to increase molybdenum and decrease nickel in the final effluent. The decrease in nickel is expected due to carryover of ferric and alumina precipitates to the high pH circuit via the clarifier overflow. The third column shows that elevated TSS in the high pH clarifier is predicted to increase aluminum, copper, nickel, uranium, and vanadium concentrations in the final effluent. The far right column shows that elevated TSS in the tailing thickener has a minimal effect on the overall process. Keep in mind that this last analysis assumes that both low pH and high pH circuits are operating at optimal baseline conditions, allowing for effective treatment of the tailings recycle stream. From this, it can be concluded that the process is very dependent on good performance of the low and high pH circuits to ensure effluent quality. In this slide, the effect of varying the underflow solids composition for each of the clarifier and thickeners on final effluent is predicted. The low and high pH clarifiers affect internal streams to the process, but they don't have any effect on the final effluent. This is seen in the second and third columns. The far right column indicates that changes in the run of mill tailing solids content has a significant effect on effluent full volume. The effect of concentrations are minimal in all cases. Here, the effect of changes in water treatment feed chemistry is predicted. In all cases, results are as expected, with increases in effluent concentration corresponding to increases in the water treatment feed. Because aluminum is a major ion in the raffinate, changing its concentration in the feed affects the tailings volume due to increased formation of alumina precipitates. Oxidation reduction potential affects the solubility of a number of metals. In this slide, predicted impact of loss of sparge air to the low and high pH tanks is presented. Both copper and aluminum are predicted to increase due to the loss of air. This is likely due to less formation of oxidized iron precipitates, which are important for absorption of these metals. The effect of air sparging on the process depends strongly on the redox state of the raffinate. In this slide, the effect of terminal pH in each circuit is predicted. Decreasing the pH in the low pH circuit, the second column in this table, results in an increase in molybdenum and a decrease in phosphate and lead. Increasing the pH in the low pH circuit, the third column in this table, results in a slight increase in vanadium in the final effluent. Decreasing the pH in the high pH circuit, the fourth column in this table, results in a decrease in aluminum, nickel, and zinc, but an increase in magnesium. Increasing the pH in the high pH circuit, the fifth column in this table, results in an increase in aluminum, calcium, copper, and zinc, among others. The far right column presents the optimal pH for this raffinate based upon this analysis. A balance is required for pH because different metals respond to changes in pH in different ways. From the sensitivity analysis, it can be seen that maintaining performance in the low and high pH clarifiers is critical for ethylene quality. The pH profile is very important and may require adjustment as water treatment needs change from changing ore composition. It also indicates that air addition to the low and high pH treatment stages is important for effective removal of all metals considered in this model for this raffinate.
Importantly, it shows that the process is reasonably robust to changing feed chemistry as long as clarifier performance, pH, and ORP control are maintained. This sensitivity analysis also demonstrates how SysCAD with TCE can quantify trending of effluent volume with raffinate concentration, as well as run-of-mill tailing solids content. In every of the scenarios tested, model trends were in line with expected behavior. That being said, use of this model or an adaptation of, of it would require validation against bench, pilot, or operating data prior to use for actual plant design. In conclusion, SysCAD combined with the TCE add-on provides a means to model very complex processes. The FreakSe software package with an adapted version of the MinTech version 4 database was integrated into SysCAD to model the ferric lime water treatment process. The model comprised 656 species and nearly 30 elements and included solids precipitation and multi-surface multi-component adsorption. This model represented thousands of reactions, but was done without having to write any reactions into SysCAD. Stream properties such as pH, equilibrium composition, and ORP were calculated. While this work is steady state, these calculations could also be used in dynamic models for various types of analysis. Thank you again for watching my presentation today. Feel free to contact myself or anyone at the SysCAD team at the email addresses shown, or visit our website to learn more about our product and download a demonstration version.